yes hello yes uh, how are you doing my friends now in this video tutorial today i'm going to simply show you uh, how my online application system is working uh, if you know you are new to my programming video and the web development video or system programming i request you please if you know you're new uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel you can always ask me the piece of code so you can send me your email address and then i happen to send for you the piece of code if you want it or if you happen to be when you are interested in one of the systems i happen to make now if you try to cross check into this system of mine this system is having the administration panel and the student panel remember every system when someone happened to i just happened to go to login I'll simply say this is the login page. I think you can really see up here. They are seeing it as administration page, I mean the ad index page as if uh, the index page, but this is the page person will get at default. Now, if you try to cross check, if you just come tomorrow there and you just happen to just enter the information, you'll discover that now you can't. Instead, it has to tell you maybe wrong username or password combination. And if still, when you give maybe. Uh, so that's it so when you happen to give wrong information there and give them maybe something like that should you get uh, this information picked up for you on the system that implies the system has a ability to validate to check for what known as uh, the validation and the, the, the require requiring the, the inquiry or requirement requires you to have username and password which should be matching to then you can access the system otherwise also not yet a member for student who are not yet a member we also have a partition whereby uh, a student can also just log in i mean create account then you can access the system that implies in a simple term for a student who is not yet a member should just click here and go to the registration panel of the system where uh, this uh, form of ours is now if you try to check my stuffs like that if you try to also cross check on the smartphone you may find that the system is also going to be favoring someone with a smartphone whereby the system is taking 100 percent width margin zero pixels uh, left and right so that's how my system so far i'll simply say that's how it is now if you also come back in here let me just try to register now at the moment or before registration uh this is how the system looks like so the main point of this system today is to see that we can download pay uh, files online uh online and we a student goes and photocopy or get a copy of the file or fills the file if it is microsoft word then the student can also upload the file straight into our system then we can always get notify or notification so i'll give assumption i'll also show you here this is my database uh, i'll just show here my uh, database very fast so that one direct us to our database where we shall be having our information so it is called red and online so we have so far if you click on users so far we have these are the people so to avoid confusion and to avoid anything i'm going to delete everything there so that will be as if we don't have anyone into our system so so far at the moment we don't have anyone so there so if you come back here ever much happened to give the right username and the password is still i may not manage to register because i'm not inside our uh, system here i'm not there so let me come back here and just show you so i'm going to register first over the moment as an administrator and i show what will happen so when i click here uh, not yet a student register so i have to create account so when i click on create account i'm going to give a username as osp and then the, the this one here may just call osp at gmail.com uh just called osp osp uh when i happen to give the password i'm just also give it osp uh confirm also osp so if you here you write something different uh it will also give you the two password do not match so you also have to be that so if you also cross check here i have to, to give osp uh dot com then i give the password as osp and also give a password as osp so when i happen to click at register uh, trust me it has to take me straight to the download page now this is the student page i think you can see student download page 
this is where the student will be downloading and which file is the student to download i think you can see some information here telling us download our forms below and they are trying to give you some information at hey osp because that's me i think you can see sanction already picked me from the system and you can also see on the logout i also have that sanction there in my program and he is telling me hey osp after downloading the application form uh, you are to upload the complete field application form above below that implies i have to click here and, uh, and upload the file which i have to download here so in a simple term i've already created account as an as a student so in a simple term let me just log out and i go as administrator i upload a file which student will be uh, upload me downloading so so that the system can download upload and also a student can also upload his own file the file which is actually uh, the application form which the students after filling in then you can also upload and get into our system so this is it i'm just going to come back here and I create account uh, i'm just going to go and I create account so i'm going to create account as administrator in a simple term uh, remember hmm, i'm going to create account as administrator so i'm just going to come back here and i may say osp i'm just type maybe uh david I'm just say david maybe that's the administrator and i'm just going to use that one there and i'm also going to come back inside here and i go as a demonstrator and i pipe type there maybe just one two three and also confirm with the one two three now trust me when you happen to click here it takes you to this page we don't want to go to that page not avoid that one there if you try to cross check on my pieces of code you'll discover that i have a page called the home page here and this home page is also containing also my information there so that home page is the one which is the administration page so i'll just change that one to home page like that so that you can see this how the home page looks like so in a simple term is like you have two stuff so you have the student page which is this one here i can see i think you can see how it looks like uh and then you also have the administrator page which is the home page which you are just to upload the file now i get me i already have some few stuffs of mine that i already make in this program which i'm going to show you I already have my files which are inside exam and i happen to put them inside hdocs and they're called an op on online application form which these are the forms we are going to pick some of them or and try to upload them online so let's come back in here this is right now we're in administration page panel and if you can see so if i happen to click on uh, to pick a file so when i click there i can always just direct it so I, since i've been testing the system it just direct me straight to that path so when i happen to say maybe application for diploma and certificates or application for short course programs so let me speak this one first when i click that and i say upload that file is already uploaded here so we need if now i happen to come back here and i go as a student because remember for a student when he comes into the system it the system just direct him straight to the student download page.com.php but for us as administrator we always know we bypass that by we are going to or whatever page you are giving there whereby a student can't access it anywhere anywhere in their page but if you happen now to click here as a student you discover that that page has already come in inside here also of our file and is not interfering with any information that so far we have there give assumption i also happen to add the one as home page uh in our home page and i happen to add another file for maybe uh application for short course programs when i click there you will discover that, that file is also going to be uploaded that's it now we don't want that thing to be seen by a student just like you've seen and none, no, none of those information so far all those files are within this uh, system there so how are we going to do this at the moment if you try to cross check i already have uh, my files which will be picking the down uploaded informations when the student happened to upload me to download my file so if you cross check in my htdocs i didn't bother putting this one this time around on the database if i check on that system is just here and the upload so that file is in upload so far i think you can see those are the two files that we happen to upload here so let's go back straight we log out and just log in as a student remember our student we are osp and our username is also osp so my friends if you feel and you really discover that this video is so interesting and is uh is nice to you you can comment down and let me know 
so that guys i can just make for you this video for everyone and anyone interested we can i can just make for you this video system down uh so that uh i don't can maybe make you guys lose uh, lose lose the chance or miss the chance but that's how it is so if you're interested please make sure you just subscribe to my channel comment down and tell me i make for your system like this so if you try to click on login uh trust me you're going to log in as a student because remember i've already shown you our an administration page in php how i happen to hide mine in a simple just in a simple logic so that guys you don't be uh you don't lose up what to how uh, to do them out now if you click here they are starting to say uh application student uh, student application form so to download our our form is below so have application for diploma and certificates application for short course programs so give assumption maybe i want to download application for short course programs when it happen just click on download remember when i click on download it's going to be downloading on my page or oh, i'm trying to oh god i'm trying to make a video and my video is not showing the download Wow, I'm trying to pause and I see how I can frame it. Wow, I think this is good. Let me put it once more, then you guys can see this is the file that uploaded. Let me try to delete off this, or oh, let me just leave that. I say just click here application for diploma and certificates. So when you click here, you should be seeing a file uh, downloading for us here. So if I also click this, you can just see a file downloading. And I don't, I'm not using internet by the moment. So if you just try to open any of this file, I click here and I go to open you'll discover that now uh, that file of ours is uh, coming up and popping up in our machine and this is a file you see red and instead of innovation and if you try to actually go down you can always see the system and the files of a student whereby any student who wants to apply into the website can always get it so you can also go down here and download if you want it but it's really downloaded so you can just can pick it and you can go and just print it if you want to print so that you can go and use it now I've already explained that now. So let me go to section B of the. Let me go to section B of the system. Uh, so I have some noise on the background, but sorry for that. Now, if you try to cross check here on the system, this is what so far we have. Now, let me show you one other stuff. Uh, we have so far learned how to pick that file in from our download page but you would like also a student to apply remember we said here hey, OSP I believe OSP is a student by that time after downloading this application form you uh, to upload the up complete file application form above below that implies after downloading that form you have to scan it after filling in you your form then you go to upload it then you can always get the upload you can always upload it now i also made there some little bit of sanction and array whereby it will be picking the information and also should tell us that the information may be picked successfully and really have that file with us so if i happen to see remember we have already downloaded the file so when i click on choose a file here uh, we cannot pick a file now we are picking a file that you happen to download among the files downloaded if this is the file or if this is whatever it's there I'm just pick one if that's a file so when I click here for us we shall not not see the file we happen to upload so when I click in here you should just get a message here telling us that your application uploaded successfully and if you try to cross check back in here in our system you should go to application forms and you should get that form just there let me do it once more so that you guys cannot be convinced out uh, i won't want to leave it behind so when i happen to click back in here and pick another file maybe pick this one or just pick this one here uh, or something like that so when i click in here you can always see that i think you can see another session telling us that your application uploaded successfully that implies so far we have two more application by osp pro that will happen to upload onto the system and if you happen to cross check here i think now you can see that inside uh, applications and if you try to double click on it you should get those two uh, pieces of files so that implies the system is working is having the administration panel and is also having the student panel now uh, this system is just a simple kind of demo there's not much uh, interface on um, there's not much a complete redesign for the system but if you know you guys maybe you're interested in whatever OSP Pro is doing out for you 
then I request you if possible just support me by you subscribing now to my channel we can always make sure you share my channel to people and if there's anything that you would like to request from me I can always simply say we can always make it out now then again also I get uh, send my great uh, greetings to everyone watching my video and the same thing also so I'm sorry for the video of C programming for you guys who requested the video is a bit long and which is okay but the problem was the background sound that was produced on my machine my machine has got some uh, challenges but if at all you have a good machine you can always give out osp and can make for, so that i can make for you guys a cool video so my machine is not that good at the moment it has got some mechanical uh, challenge so if you happen to get any video that the sounds not very very clear please members just like i've said to you my machine is having some mechanical challenge at the moment which is making the it produces sound a lot of sound on the background which i'm still working up on but if at all you love my videos i just said make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you all and i love you all may god bless you yeah